guys, it's Anita T from FatFirstFitness.com. Today we're going to be talking about the third part of our three-part leaky gut series where we're going to discuss how to heal leaky gut and some all-natural therapies that are being studied in science right now. So let's get started. So how do we go about healing leaky gut exactly? Well, there's a ton of ways right now that are currently being studied in science and researched and evidence, which is absolutely fantastic because that gives us quite a large pool to choose from. And today as a scientist and nutritionist, I've actually done you guys a favor and filtered through a whole bunch of this evidence to give you guys eight of the most effective therapies for helping to heal leaky gut. These are all all natural interventions that are dietary interventions, lifestyle interventions, and you guys can try them right in your own home. And some of them might even seem a little bit strange to you and I bet you won't have heard them anywhere else. But as always, everything here is 100% off the book. So what that means at Fact First Fitness is everything is totally factual and science-based. So you can definitely trust what you're hearing here. So let's get started with those eight interventions. So the first of these tips is a little bit of an obvious one, but basically it involves eating a diet that is full of healthy foods, all natural foods, and not eating packaged, processed, or any foods that contain a whole lot of additives or chemicals. The reason for that is, of course, just to eat a healthy diet, but it goes beyond that because when you are eating very healthy and getting all the nutrients that your body needs, that's actually able to support all of your body systems, including your natural detoxification processes, for example, which are something that contribute to leaky gut. And on top of that, by eating foods that are artificial or foreign to the body, your body can't actually recognize these foods. So what happens is it elicits an inflammatory response in response to these foods because it's just a foreign thing that you're putting in the body and of course it's going to activate your defense mechanisms. So basically why that's so important is because if you keep eating these foreign foods and putting them in your body and your body keeps eliciting an immune response and activating inflammation, then what's happening is you guys all know what happens with inflammation, like things swell, we've all had injuries like this before, but basically when inflammation is happening in your gut, it's actually stretching your gut every single time. So if you're chronically getting inflamed, then you're going to have this chronic sort of expansion and contraction of the gut, and that can compromise the tight junctions of your intestines. So if you guys watch the last video, the tight junctions are basically, you can think of them as the glue that holds your intestinal cells together. So you're basically just pulling on those and contracting those, and of course that's definitely going to contribute to leaky gut. So eating a diet that's totally natural is going to be a surefire way of helping to avoid any inflammation and support your body's natural processes. Okay, so tip number two is actually something that's a little bit of a topic of debate, but it's to do with gluten, and unfortunately, gluten has got to go. And the reason for that is whether or not you are sensitive to gluten, gluten actually increases the production of a protein called zonulin in the gut. And what zonulin does is it pries apart these intestinal tight junctions, which are holding your intestinal cells together and preventing leaky gut. So the increase in zonulin actually comes in and is able to pry apart these tight junctions, pry apart your intestinal cells, and essentially be a huge contributing factor to leaky gut. Um, I had somebody in one of my seminars recently raise his hand when I was discussing why gluten had to leave and he said, but I'm not sensitive to gluten, I eat it and I don't get a reaction. And my response to that is, do you get a horrible reaction every time you smoke a cigarette? Or do you get a horrible reaction every single time you sit in an office chair for eight or 10 hours a day? Of course not, but that doesn't mean that sitting down all day or that smoking cigarettes is necessarily a good thing. We all know that sedentary lifestyle and smoking cigarettes are risk factors for your health. So is gluten, and unfortunately, that's in the scientific evidence. So gluten's gotta go. The next tip is actually one of those unique ones, and it's to do with eating stewed apples. So stewed apples have actually shown to support the growth of a healthy gut bacterial population. Um, gut bacteria have a lot to do with the function of your gut, of course, and contributions to leaky gut. And on top of that, eating stewed apples has actually shown to reduce inflammation in the gut and has shown to be as effective in, in some studies as taking 15 grams of prednisone, which is a pharmaceutical anti-inflammatory drug. 
If you guys are interested in learning a little bit more about stewed apples, I'll link a video where I explain exactly how to prepare them and the dosages that you can take them to achieve therapeutic effects. Okay guys, so tip number four is to use L-glutamine. L-glutamine is an amino acid that has an amazing, amazing capacity to heal leaky gut. It's actually shown in studies to be able to contribute to sealing up leaky gut in both adults and children in as little as 10 days, which is amazing. At a dosage of 0.5 grams per kilogram body weight, these therapeutic dosages are quite a bit higher than what you could typically get from consuming foods. So if you're trying to heal leaky gut, I definitely recommend supplementing with L-glutamine. I've linked a really clean nutritionist approved L-glutamine supplement in the description below for you guys to check out. If you guys aren't so into supplementation and you really wanna get everything from food or you're just doing this as a preventative measure and don't think you have leaky gut, then bone broth is actually a really good source of L-glutamine as well but I prefer to use bone broth in conjunction with L-glutamine if you're on a particular gut healing diet or if you just want to use it preventatively, then bone broth on its own is a great way to go to drink on the daily. Okay guys, so tip number five is another really strange one. It's probably going to be the strangest one you'll hear in this video, but basically tip number five to help heal leaky gut is to get outside into nature and in fact, even hug trees. I know this sounds a little bit crazy, but it's actually scientifically proven that plants give off these compounds called phytoncytes, and basically what they do is interact with your body to reduce immune responses and to prevent inflammation, including in the gut. If you guys are more interested in how being in nature and hugging trees is actually literally good for your health, then I'll link a video that I actually created just detailing exactly this mechanism. Okay guys, so tips six, seven, and eight are actually going to be mainly aimed at promoting a healthy gut bacterial profile, which is really an absolute key in helping to heal leaky gut or preventing leaky gut and maintaining a healthy intestinal barrier. And the reason for that is because gut bacteria are either directly or indirectly involved in every single process of the body. And by supporting these processes through a healthy bacterial balance, you can actually support or prevent leaky gut through enhancing the body's natural detoxification processes, um, reducing inflammation, and helping a whole bunch of other things that are really, really going to benefit leaky gut. So guys, tip number six is actually to reduce sugar in the diet. Several scientific studies have shown that a high sugar diet is actually able to contribute to several bacterial imbalances, um, inflammation, and a whole bunch of other poor stuff, especially when it comes to consuming refined sugar. So we definitely wanna reduce that in order to help to heal and support the prevention of leaky gut. Just be sure to check your food labels as well because sugars, added sugars, are actually found in about three quarters of the food that we purchase in grocery stores. Okay guys, tip number seven is actually to consume more fiber. The reason for that is fiber is one of the best ways to help support a healthy bacterial balance and all of the great benefits that come along with it. If you guys, however, are experiencing digestive symptoms or have a digestive disorder, several of these people do have trouble um, consuming fiber, so just make sure that you're increasing your fiber slowly and gradually, so not just overnight going from a low fiber diet to an extremely high fiber one. Um, basically just by a few grams per week will allow your body time to adjust to it. And if you guys wanna know a little bit more about how to escalate the dosage of your fiber and how much fiber you should be having daily in order to reach maximum therapeutic benefits, I will link a separate video I did on how much fiber is the right amount of fiber to be consuming daily. Okay guys, tip number eight is to consume more fermented vegetables you may have heard of fermented vegetables before, but basically what happens in the fermentation process is organic acids, enzymes, probiotics, all these great things are produced that help to support a healthy bacterial balance and all of the processes that go along with it to ultimately support leaky gut and to prevent these issues from happening in our gut. Okay guys, so those last three tips in healing leaky gut were very bacterially focused, but remember that all of these tips are actually very holistic. Our body is a holistic being, just which just means that everything in our body is connected and it's one whole organism. So there is knock on effects of everything. So by supporting a healthy bacterial balance, we're gonna support the rest of our body. And by supporting the rest of our body, we're also going to support the gut. 
and in particular these therapies are particularly aimed at supporting leaky gut and healing leaky gut. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, get started with some of those therapies. Let me know how they go. They're kind of cool to try and thank you guys so much for hanging out with me throughout this whole series. Remember if you guys want a scientist on your side to give you the facts about gut health that are straight off the book then subscribe to my channel below and I will see you guys again in the next video. Take care. Thank you.